Hi, this is Eric Martin with Board Game Geek. I'll be looking today at Time Bomb by Yusuke Sato and published by New Board Game Party. And this is a party game for four to six players who are secretly divided into two teams. And the game has a playing time of one to 30 minutes. And that is completely accurate because one team could win, theoretically, with the revelation of a single card. One card, boom, one, one team wins. That's it. How does that work? Here are the components in Time Bomb. We have six character cards, four SWAT agents, two terrorists. We have six success cards. We have a bomb, boom. Have a set of wire nippers and a whole bunch of safe cards. With five, four or five players, you use three SWAT and two terrorists. With six players, you add in the other card. You shuffle the roll cards. You secretly give one to each player or let them take it so you don't jinx them with what they're doing. Okay, with five players, we'll set that one aside. I am a member of the SWAT team. You take as many success cards as the number of players, add the bomb, add enough safe cards so that you'll have five cards for each player in the deck. Shuffle up the deck and deal five cards to each player. Okay, one, two, three, four, five, one, two, three, four, five, etc. Okay, you look at your cards and you see what you have. I have all safe. My, my hand is completely not interesting right now, but that's okay. So you shuffle your cards so that you hide any information that you would have. You don't know where cards are within your own hand. You just know what you have. And choose someone to have the wire nippers. They'll be the first player. They are going to go cut someone's wire. They cannot cut their own. So you give information to other players or the player can ask for information. You talk about various things. I can just say, I have four, sa uh, five safe cards. I have nothing. Don't come over and, and waste your time here, All right? If I or you are a member of the SWAT team, you have to find all the success cards before the end of four rounds. If you're a member of the terrorist, you do not want that to happen, or you want to set off the bomb that is hidden among someone's cards. Okay, we have another player's cards here. Maybe they say, oh, I've got two successes. Well, the person comes over, clips something. Oh, success, super. Maybe this person forgot what you said or they think you're lying or whatever and they come over and they reveal something. Safe. All right, so now I get the nippers and I get to go choose something. We're a very frugal SWAT team. We have only one instead of wire nippers and uh, we don't trust each other. Okay, as, as I guess could sometimes happen uh, on a terrible SWAT team. So you keep going and revealing cards until a number of cards are revealed equal to the number of players in the game. All right, two successes. Three saves, that's pretty good on a first round. You then take all the cards, shuffle them up, and now deal four cards to each player. Okay, so what you have at the beginning of the game is not what you're gonna have forever. Okay, this round, I got all safe again. All right, I got an easy job here. Just steer people away from me. If someone keeps picking on my cards, I'm gonna cast them a little stink eye here because I will suspect them of being a terrorist and wasting our time. All right, so you again, Keep going around, next round you shuffle up again. After five more cards have been revealed, you're only gonna have three cards, then finally you're gonna have two cards. And that will be the fourth round, and you better find those success cards, if you're a member of the SWAT team, by the end of that fourth round, okay? You're gonna be reading people, seeing what they have, what they think they have, what they're saying, what they're actually doing, and who they're cutting, right? Who you think someone's partnered with. Find the success cards, or don't. And there is a rundown of Time Bomb, which I've played now nine times on a copy I bought at Tokyo Game Market. Uh, with four, five, and six players, all player ranges. The game is highly variable, of course, depending on who finds what, when, and how the teams are mixed up, and if you know the people you're playing with and trust them, and you can read them better than other times. I'm normally not a fan of hidden role games, or it's not my thing. I especially don't like the sort of random player elimination and coup and werewolf, you know, where someone's out of the game and they just gotta watch. I don't find that interesting, not for me. In Time Bomb, everyone wins or loses together. The game ends, you can shuffle up and just play again. All right, once, once something happens. Uh, the game varies a lot depending on the players who are in it and what they're doing. You got some interesting things where you're trying to read other people. Uh, I got fooled by a great bluff from a SWAT team member when I was a terrorist who said he had the uh, final round of the game. He had, you know, we had to find two successes. We need to find the bomb. Uh, he said, I got a success and I got a bomb. I'm like, well, what are we supposed to do here? I want to blow him up, but of course, I only got a 50-50 shot. If I give it to him and he doesn't, you know, and I don't choose the bomb, well, then he's not going to give it back to me because he won't trust me anymore. But I sort of played up like, well, okay, I don't know. What you going to do? Uh, so I, 
you know, it's the final round. We have to find these two. And you have both. So I put it on one, turn over success. And he gives it right back to me. I'm like, oh, great. Now I can kill him. Turn it over. It's another success. He had just played off what he thought someone wanted. It. He wasn't sure who was the terrorist, but he knew that the terrorist wanted to do exactly what I wanted to do, which I did, which led to success for his side. It was a great you know, mind reading and, and play of, of what you want to do here. And that's the kind of situation you're going to encounter as you play Time Bomb.